Hello everybody, uh, this is Leo at the lead time. Uh, today I want to introduce to you a very special hydrosol. Uh, it's called a greatest of the great uh, hydrosol. And uh, it's a uh, well-known as an anti-aging uh, effect. It may help uh, improve the collagen uh, production in the skin and tighten skin, and make a firm skin cell, and also reduce the fine line and wrinkles. And this hydrosol has been uh, widely used uh, in uh, uh, cosmetic product, especially a Korean, uh, Korean uh, product. And the name is called uh, Go To Color. And I heard this from one audience. Uh, I saw a message said uh, she want to buy uh, uh, the Go To Color hydrosol, but uh, it seems very hard to find online uh, and ask me if uh, you know you can use our the cattle distiller to make uh, such a hydrosol uh, so i i uh deep dig into it and uh do some research uh and figure out yeah go to kala is a very special plant uh it has a, a semi a circle shape of a leaf and it has a long history in use in the uh, uh, Chinese medicine and also have been widely used in Asia. Um, one of the example is uh, the elephant. Uh, the favorite food is, uh, is this go to color. So that uh, may have uh, the elephant such as a long lifetime. And also have been used in France uh, as a, a wound care. Um, so and the later on, you know, it's it's been used uh, as a as a skincare. Uh, so today, I gotta do the steam distillation of uh, the go to color. It's a dry herb. I found it online. It's not that uh, expensive. Um, so at the last of the video, I'll do some cost analysis and also give you some tips about how to use a uh, hydrosol, especially like an internal. Uh, also I have a very good reference book it will introduce you at the last of the video. So keep watching. So here's a, a one pound bag of uh, goat color. Uh, it's a uh, dried uh, leaf. Um, I ordered from this company. And uh, I'm gonna show you uh, uh, what it looks like. Um, so it's it's like a, a plant, uh, you know, dry plant. Uh, it's like the, the stems and uh, the the leaves, the, the um, kind of small pieces. I know the original plant, uh, the leaf uh, is not big as well. It's about this size. Um, so of course, when they're drying it, uh, it's dried up and also um, break it. Um, it's a, it actually um, the small piece. Um, is better for doing the steam distillation. There's a smaller size, you know, you can have a better uh, contact with, uh, with the steam. Um, so now I'm going to add in, I'm using uh, my uh, 500 milliliter uh, cattle distiller. Uh, I'm going to add in the, the, the plant and then I'm going to also use a piece of cloth um, to cover on the top. Um, so when I take this out, uh, you know, it, it doesn't have a very strong smell. It's, it's like a very light and uh, beautiful, you know, the plant smell. Uh, there's nothing, you know, uh, strange smell. Uh, actually, it's pretty, uh, pretty good and uh, it's like a fresh. Um, just keep adding, keep adding all the plants uh, all the way up. To the to the top uh, of the line here, yeah, and I just do a little bit tap, uh, so make them a uh, uh, pack, and then add more uh, to the bottom line. Uh, I, I mean the bottom of this uh, screw line, uh, and then put a piece of a uh, cloth. Uh, better use uh, like a cotton cloth and now you can close it uh, so you're ready uh, to use it 
So first uh, add a water in the kettle and then uh, just squeeze the, um, the rubber uh, stopper into the spout uh, as tight as possible. Uh, and then have this tubing uh, connect here. Uh, so yeah, so now you're ready uh, to start your uh, steam distillation. So just turn on the heat and uh, waiting for the steam coming up and add an ice cube here. So yeah, let's start it. Uh, uh, boiling, um, and then uh, add the ice cube, and also add some water. After adding the ice cube, uh, um, so it start to condense in the uh, steam, and then uh, collecting the product, the hydrolate. Um, so you can see, uh, you know, it's, this one also has a very good, uh, uh, the, like a plant smell, um, like what you, uh, like what I smell of the of the plant. Uh, So just in the meantime, uh, when it's get hot, uh, scoop the water out, and then just uh, replace with uh, some uh, ice cube again. So just keep uh, cooling power. Uh, after uh, 25 minutes, uh, I made uh, about 500 milliliter, 16 ounce of uh, two cup of uh, hydrosol. Um, with a, uh, you know, when you have a fresh made hydrosol, uh, it's the hydrosol is, itself is not like transparent, not, not like water, you know, exactly like water. It's a little bit cloudy um, because it has uh, some uh, the essential oil and also the uh, hydrophilic part, uh, the components uh, in the plant has been extracted into the water. Uh, that's what they call a hydrosol. Uh, so yes, uh, so you can use as a spray, uh, you know, just directly use as a uh, facial spray, um, you know, on the skin after you cleanse it, after clean it, uh, to benefit uh, the anti-aging effect from this uh, magic plant. Um, and also I was talking about, you know, uh, there are some of the hydrosol you can use internally um, because you know uh, people drink the tea like herb teas or even use the herb uh, during the cooking so it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, safe to to eat uh, but because the hydrosol it has a little bit oil in it so it better dilute it for your regular uh, like a drinking beverage um, Based on the book I'm reading, is, uh, uh, so the recommended uh, uh, dilution is about 3%. Uh, that means you add a, about uh, two uh, uh, tablespoons into one liter of the water, and uh, then you can uh, just keep drinking it, uh, finish the one liter of water every day. Uh, they also recommend you do like a three, day, uh, three weeks test. Uh, so just keep drinking such water, uh, continuously for three weeks and stop for a week and uh, see uh, uh, what the, the plant, the mother, mother nature uh, medicine uh, bring to you. Um, and uh, also, um, I gotta in, do the cost analysis. Uh, you will see you know, how much cost you uh, to make your uh, personally uh, and uh, 100% fresh uh, and pure hydrosol. Uh, it's, uh, you know, you, you will see the big benefits uh, by doing your uh, DIY uh, steam distillation. How much or uh, how many of uh, the uh, go to color being used uh, in one batch in order to get the 500 milliliter of the hydrosol? Um, so going to measure it uh, first I to zero it and then I gotta add this uh, the plant into the cup okay. 
So this is about how much I use and see how much, uh, how many grams I use. So it's a uh, 70 gram uh, and this is one pound bag. Um, so that means uh, each bag I can use about uh, seven, seven batch. Uh, one bag, the cost is around uh, $20. Uh, so uh, each batch uh, cost is uh, $3. So by spending $3 and a half hour of your time, uh, you can make uh, 500 milliliter of the hydrosol. Uh, if you are familiar with the hydrosol uh, market, normally, you know, for about uh, three ounces, that is a uh, hundred milliliter, it costs you like a $10. Uh, so 500 milliliter, obviously you uh, save around uh, $47 on, you know, your weekly use. And this is a book uh, I highly recommend you. Uh, it's written by uh, Suzanne uh, Caddy. Uh, it introduced uh, uh, a different uh, tens of uh, different kinds of hydrosol. Uh, and each hydrosol has a different benefit to uh, to to you to the the, the body, uh, for example, like a chamomile, it's good for the eye wash, and uh, also a lot of a different hydrosol you can use uh, for the different uh, applications. Uh, thank you for watching today's video, and uh, if you like it, just uh, please uh, click like it, and uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed, uh, subscribe it uh, because. I'm going to introduce you uh, all different kinds of hydrosol and uh, meantime I, I will introduce you uh, the benefits of a different hydrosol to you. Uh, just uh, join our group uh, and uh, uh, see you next time.